So here's the Eastern team, guys. Now where you feel for sad? Come here, say where me feel for sad. Now where you feel for sad? Hey guys, welcome back to Kenesha Says. Um, today I'm not 100, I'm feeling so sick, so you won't get that energy that you normally would get from me today. But um, we're already on our way, we are on our way today to visit a college that my son, my oldest son actually, my older son, the last, my first picnic get into. Um, so. For anybody who knows teenagers, it took forever to actually make up his mind which school he wanted to go procrastinating so much. But eventually he submitted his application and he got, got into four colleges. So this video will be about visiting those colleges to see which one really wanted to attend. Um, so I'll be taking you along with the, um, the journey with us. So it's like a little road trip. Unfortunately, we run a little bit late because I miscalculated the time. For some reason, I had it in my head that we're 20 minutes away from the place. Instead, we're 40 minutes. So right now, we're in, we're 10 minutes away um, to get there. So I'll be showing you guys what we've seen today, as well as all the other three colleges. So today, we're heading to Eastern Connecticut State University. Um, and then he got through to MCLA. AIC and also Southern State, um, Southern Connecticut State University. So we're heading to the Magic right now, Connecticut, as we speak. So I'll see you when you get there. All right, guys. So we're here at the school. We're about to, even though we're late. You okay, Mama? There's a college kid behind me. Got into four colleges with three, three scholarships? Three scholarships. One, full scholarship to AIC for track and field. This one is giving him a partial of $12,000 for the four years. So we're running into see what this is all about. Come on. Hi. Oh, Good morning. We are late. We have a whole walk of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that. I apologize. For some reason, I calculated like 20 minutes longer or shorter than it should be. So this is Troy Stewart. He is the future warrior. Okay. Um, and this is all of our family to take towards the yeah, yeah. also yeah. future work. Do you mind me record? No? You okay? All right. So here's the Eastern team, guys. This goes on YouTube, my YouTube channel, okay? So we are, are going to go ahead and get Kai to bring you out on tour. Okay. But you can use the restrooms. The restrooms are right there um, that you can all use. And so if you guys are all set, then Kai is going to go ahead and show you around. Can you the restroom? Are you in the restroom? No? Are you, no? Oh, she was saying. Oh, she was, she just woke up. Oh, so we're good. No, no restroom for us. So we're, where did Kai go? Oh, okay. So you guys are going to go out on tour. Kai's going to show you around. So please feel free to ask him any questions. Obviously, he's a current student. Okay. And then when you come back, I'm actually going to be meeting with you guys to go over any last questions you have. Perfect. Any aid questions, all that good stuff. So I'll be here. Thank you so right, yeah, much. No problem. We'll see you okay. All right. Let's go. What's your YouTube name? It's not oh, Kenesha Says. K-E-N-E. K-E-N-E-I-S-H-A. -E -S -E right. Thank you. Subscribe. <laughs> Hi. You guys want me to introduce? No. Yeah, we can do this when we get inside. This is so cold. A cold, right? That's a college kid. Alright guys, so outside is cold, never know such a day, it's also cold. 
I know it may not seem so well, having us a hundred, like all we have is a little, little sick of not COVID. But we kind of feel so well, so I want to take you guys to see as much as you can, okay? Myself. My name is Kai. I'm a sophomore here at Eastern. Is it Kai? Yeah. Okay. I'm a sophomore here majoring in psychology with a concentration in mental health counseling. Um, I'm from the Hartford area, so I guess I'm pretty local, I would say. And some clubs I'm a part of here at Eastern include BSU and the BACP and the Natural Repair Club community. And welcome to the library at Eastern. So there are four floors in this building. I'm going to start from the top, make my way down to the bottom. On the top floor, that's where our archives are located. So if you want to do a research project here at Eastern, that's normally where you would go. So any research on the Willimantic history, Connecticut history, or just the history of Eastern in general, that'd be the perfect place for you to go. And on our third floor, that's our designated quiet floor. The floor is just study here, yeah, independently, you can work quietly. That's the perfect place for you to go. We don't normally hear anything around that floor. Unless you were to crumple up a piece of paper and throw it in this, and then you'll get a couple stairs at that. But other than that, it's a relatively quiet space for you to work in. And on the second floor, that's where our main entrance is located. Um, right behind me, or right over there is where our reference desk is located. There is where you can find credible sources, or get help finding credible sources for your research papers. And if you don't know how to properly cite information, they'll help you properly cite your information. And yeah, so on the circulation desk, we also have on the second floor. That's where you go to check out your books. So here at Eastern, we're partnered with the other Connecticut State Universities. So if you can't find one of the 400,000 books that we have here, then go check at you know, Central, Southern, and Western. If you don't have any books over at those colleges, then at that point, we'll just go and obtain the book for you. You can just check it out from us. Center. So starting with the advisory center, that's where our professional and academic advisors are located. So what your professional advisor does is they help you create your research support plan, which is like a roadmap to make sure you graduate in a timely manner. What it has is like a little schedule that you'll make to make sure that you're taking the right classes at the right time all throughout your four years that you spend. You're not going to be spending any unnecessary time that you don't need to here. But what your academic advisor essentially is, is just your advisor for your specific major. So you go to them for your registration code, sign up for your classes. We also can just go to them to meet with them and look for internship opportunities. I know I do that a lot with my advisor. I'm trying to build that relationship here. Moving on to the writing center, that's where you can go to get help on your rough and final drafts. Some professors do offer extra credit for utilizing that service. And personally, I think it's a great idea because it's a free service that we have here at Eastern. It doesn't cost any additional money and it makes sure that you're trying to get the best work possible. We also have the math center here, and what essentially is the place you get all your place you get all your help for your math course right there at Eastern. You guys want to take a look inside? Sure. So right behind me is where the writing center would be located. Down there, behind those doors, is where the advice center would be located. And we usually have tutors, usually have, like on the other side of the table, range from a wide variety of different subjects, you know, math, writing, science, and all that, so they can help you with your homework or anything else you need help on. So here at Eastern, as a student, you receive up to $20 worth of printing funds, 400 total pages each semester, and it does add up after each semester. So you always have printing funds whenever you need to. And it's also printers located in every single residential hall, so you do not have to come to the library if you want to stay in your dorm and print from there. Hey, 
cafe. So I wanted to talk about this cafe here. This is where you're going to be spending your dining dollars. I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the main dining hall. Okay. But this is our local cafe, the Daily Press. Here what you can find are some fresh sandwiches, fresh paninis, um, coffees. If you wanted to grab any coffees in between your classes here. Some people come down to just sit down and chill because it, it's a little Starbucks cozy vibe. So some people usually just come in, hang out with their friends. So, welcome to Constitution Hall. I just wanted to point out that we do still have printing services, like I said, in every single residential building. And to the left of me is where we have our mailing services. So, in each hall, there are mailing services. We don't have a post office here, so you don't have to walk all the way down to a post office if you wanted to grab some mail or any packages that you need. And we do have microwaves on every single floor. So you aren't really required to bring a microwave. It's optional, but if you do, you are allowed to bring one if you want. Sorry. Here we have our two bedrooms, the two students in each room, a vanity area, a shower, and a bathroom. Okay. And the students are required to clean them after themselves and then, you know, assign any chore and cleaning tasks that they need to do. Cleaning services do not come in and clean after anyone in okay. this building at least. So this is for the first year student, you said? Yeah. So this is basically where he would go? Yeah, and if okay. you're interested in signing up for the honors program, then you would be living in Dean Housing and you would be living on the fifth floor of this building. Yeah, feel free to look around, touch whatever you want. It's a mock room. No one actually lives here. Okay. I like the ceilings are pretty high in this um, suite. Alright, so guys, this is the bathroom. And individual closets. So is this like a space set up for? Yeah. This is like the microwave. Here and the microwave on top. I think that's something that I noticed. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I think the common areas are my favorite spots. Some people usually bring their games, so like their PS4s and Nintendo Switches. They look it up. Okay. So, so they bring their PS5s. Oh, PS5s. Yeah. So, they bring their PS5s. You know, hook it up, watch games together, play games together. Oh, that's a game on. Yeah, it's like a little uh, common, common area. Some areas are usually on duty. They're not usually. They are on duty 24-7. So, everybody having an issue, just call the duty phone and somebody will pick up. Building, 
there are coupons at the main entrance of the building. Those are meant to collect rainwater, which is used throughout the tunnel system in this building. Here in the East End, we're trying to be as sustainable as possible. As you may see, the lights in this building are on. It's meant to produce as much artificial light as possible and to light as much natural light as possible. But to talk a little bit more about the classroom here, or the classroom chair at Eastern, the average class size is about 21 students. And that's really when you get into your major and your concentration and just like a little bit more focused. But for the prerequisite the classroom, it's a little bit larger. You mostly have like about 30 students in your class, max 40 in the lecture halls. But aside from that, it's a relatively small school, you know, 3,000 students. And it offers, it, it offers you the opportunity to interact with professors on a personal level. I know for me personally, my professors know me by my name, and they address me by my name, say good morning, Kai, hello, Kai, all that. Uh, professors here are required to have office hours every week. So if you don't feel comfortable asking a question in class and you want to still ask your question, you can just go to their office hours at the, sorry, at the designated times and speak to them there. Here at Eastern, you are required to take a science course, one with a lab and one without a lab. And it doesn't have to be the standard, you know, biology or chemistry. Um, it can be something like sustainable energy, which is what I take, or astronomy. We do have a planetarium, so definitely we want to try that out sometime. But yeah, it doesn't have to be the standard, you know, science courses. Um, you guys want to see some of the classrooms? Yeah. I think some mm -hmm. might be in session right now. I've had a couple classes in here. I still continue to have my classes in here. Uh, yeah, the classes are in session. But yeah, here you see we try to spread our students throughout every single academic building. Whether it's, depending on your course, it doesn't really matter if you're a science major. It doesn't mean that you're going to only be in this academic building. You can end up taking a science course in the fine arts. Oh, sorry. This is one of our smaller size classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty small. That's when you get to your major and it's a little bit more concentrated. We do have studying arts and technology in every single classroom. We do have smart boards and... In this specific classroom, I always forget what it's called, but we have this little bed over there for anatomy. Some sort of anatomy bed, I forgot what it exactly is for, but you know, if you were into that, that's something that you get to use. Yeah. Uh, this is an anatomy Sorry, what was that? This is anatomy Yeah. Some of the department buildings are here. I think this one is a math one. Yes, yeah, so we have the departments of mathematical sciences here. And the departments, it really depends on what building you're in. Um, we have this big thing here, it's the Science Lab Lawn. That's when we have some of our events. Like we have this thing called Spring Fest and Fall Fest. Spring Fest is starting to be really big. But I know some of the events that we had here were like some bouncy house events that we had. Um, we brought a lot of inflatable things, like inflatable basketball. Zumo and stuff, they had a lot of you know, things. Like, what sports are you guys big on? We're big, I want to say we're really big on basketball, really big on track, um, volleyball, baseball. So, for somebody that was not recruited, like for a scholarship to come here on basketball, how would you be able to like try out? Yeah, you just try, try out. out. I know for a track, it was really easy for me to join the team. I'm not on the team anymore because I don't really enjoy it as much as high school, but. Spoke to the coaches, went to the manager offices. I met with the manager, I met the um, assistant manager, and I was able to try on the team. Okay. It's really easy. If you don't want to be at a competitive level, you can always bump it down to you know intramurals if you want to, or even the club sport level too. Uh -huh. It's like the same aspect, but like less commitment. Okay. Another hobby is sport you might be interested in. Um, she basically just asked the question for me. So. Yeah, so you said basketball is what you do? I do basketball and track. I actually, um, my first year doing track was last year, and I also broke the record for long term. Oh, nice. How about basketball? Is that what you're more big on track? Basketball? Well, I'm really, I really love basketball, but I'm better at track than I am basketball. Yeah. But I don't enjoy track as much as that. You don't? I, I find track. I only did it because my math was good, so yeah, you get your training. Um, Tristan, do you like this school so far? Yes. Huh? Gonna go to this college? Yes.
This is not a trust college, but they do trust here. You have to continue to work hard in school to come here. You hear? You have to continue to work hard. All right. So welcome to the communication building. As you can see right behind me, this is where our radio station is located. It is student help, student ran. So what you can tune into here are some podcasts, debates, and some live music played by the students here. And it's also hosted by like our radio club. So if you're interested in joining the radio club, having like a little podcast session here, you can do that with some friends. But to get into more into the building, this is where you have some of your communication classes here. It's home to the communication department and the majors here. And right down this hallway is where our media services and our television network and our media services are located. So starting with our media services here, if you wanted to rent out a piece of technology, whether it's a 300 camera, you, you aren't required to go and spend the 300 on the camera if you don't have that money. I don't even have that money to go spend them around. So you can just rent out that piece of equipment for free or any okay. other piece of equipment. You just need to hand in your ID. You wouldn't have to pay any sort of money at all unless you were to, you know, damage it, of course. And then at that point, you're reliable for it. But other than that, this is a free service that we have here at East for our Eastern students. And the Eastern Television Network is basically what you can tune into if you wanted to watch some of the events here, whether it's a basketball game or like a live show. So we did have uh, two members from the cast a well and now come in okay. from like a little comedy show. And that's something you can just tune into if you don't want to go all the way to the gym and watch it. You can just watch it from your room if you want. It's one of our newly renovated academic buildings. You can see it's pretty, pretty cozy feel, pretty nice. I love the the sofa coaches, whatever you call these. Nice yeah, one. beautiful. Very nice one. It has like a little low-key spot over there or something. This is beautiful. And so cozy, like. Mm -hmm. I love this. Oh, sorry. Alright, you guys ready to go to the sports center? Yeah, let's go. Go. You want to say hi to the people? Generally, say hi. Like and subscribe and hi. <laughs> All right, so welcome to our sports center. To the left of me, where the gymnasium is located. We don't just play basketball here, we do have our other events hosted here, like the wild announcer that came out. Um, last semester, I know that A Boogie would be familiar with him. Came out a few years ago, performed here. I don't think it cost any money, but if it did, it, the most of it cost is like five dollars. To the right of me is where our manager offices are located. But I came to know the track team. I've met most of the coaches here. It's a very quick and easy process. You know, I didn't have any issues with it. And yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can smell the chlorine in here. We do have a NCAA size pool right below me, as well as the sauna room on the floor below us. And yeah, simple, easy to use. I mean, a lifeguard just needs to be present when using the pool, of course, and then you can use it if you ever wanted to. Right below that floor is where we have a dance studio, as well as a free weight and cardio room to work out in. So we have free weights, you know, benches, all that, free for students to use, and for the cardio rooms. And we do have like private, if you want to bring some weights in there and work out independently away from everybody else, we do have that for our students here too. And yeah, we can take a look at the gymnasium if nobody's in there. So you guys do all these sports that I'm seeing on the wall? You guys do all these sports that I'm seeing on the wall? Yeah, so we have a sports complex right off campus. It's about three minutes away. That's where the shuttle can bring you there or you can walk in yourself. Um, so we have our field hockey events there, soccer on the turf field, um, track on the track and field there too, any sort of the field sports and the track sports are located there. Okay. We have like 19 varsity sports uh, and a lot of clubs we participate in. We're at school. Yeah, this is our gymnasium right here. Yeah, so
wearing the mask under your nose, it'll work. Cover your nose. Cover your nose. Sorry, that's okay. Welcome to the Upper Level of our Student Center. Student Center is known as the hub of all scholarly activity here. And if you want to sound like you're a student, we call it the stew. To the right of me is where our university bookstore is located. As you can see, we have some Eastern gear here if you're ever interested in buying some Eastern gear representing the school. And this is also the place where you would go to rent and purchase your textbooks here. And if you don't feel like purchasing it in person, you can just order it online and buy that way. We do price match on Amazon, so if you find a book that's cheaper on Amazon, you can show it to the clerks and they'll match that price for you immediately. Oh. Like medicine if you're ever getting sick. And just other like small amenities, you know, notebooks. It's like a one-stop shop. Yeah, it's a little like, mini shop in the school. If you're still feeling sick, we also have our health services on that side of campus. So free for all students to use and cost any additional money, depending on what services you're there for. But yeah, this is our bookstore. Yeah. We have our own laptop, but if you did want to go rent our laptop, we do have that service in the library. I'm not really sure of the exact details, I haven't done it myself. But yeah, to the left of where our student food court is located. That's also where you're going to be using your dining dollars to get a hundred and twenty over them. Still talk a little bit more about it when we get to the dining hall soon. But what we have here at the food court is um, we have our own substation, the Mendham subs, if you want to make your own sub, or make your own pasta bowl, or salad bowl, you can do that. We also have a pizza store, a pizza store here, so if you want to make your own pizza, um, grow your own burgers, and, uh, you don't actually do the work yourself, but you can right. make the burgers for you too, chicken sandwiches, all that. And we're also Starbucks affiliated, so if you want to grab some coffee different in your classes, so you go to croissants, I personally love the croissants here. And we also have a little ice cream machine bar, you know, the green. Um, bar so too. If you want to grab like refreshments and ice cream, you can do that too. Yeah, this is where you use the dining dollars here. Okay. Yeah. That's a theater. Oh, no. They have like the intercultural centers event going on here. I'll talk a little bit more about them when we get downstairs. But they usually hold some of the events here on campus. The Women in Pride Center is also in too. Okay. And this is like the cafe where students just come just chill and sit down at. What kind of theater is that? Theater? Uh huh. Um, it's just like, like a regular theater. Um, general purpose. Um, I guess they have some movies in there too. It really depends on what the activity is. Oh, sorry. of our student center to the right of me is the cheese where the fitness center is located it's the second little gym option that we have here at eastern for our students to use they can see it's mainly more machine based you know we have standard technology here still have like a little bone machine here we just recently got some dumbbells into this gym specifically so if you don't want to go to the other gym you can choose the free rates that are located back there in this room and we do have a bunch of cardio machines here too i personally love this one because of the 
central area and it's like right, even, and down to the left of me is where our unity wing is located which calls our cultural center our building center and our pride center so the intercultural center which is just hosting an event i'm not sure what the event was about but they usually give out you know free food and other type of snacks and stuff really depends on what it, the event they're hosting on what days in front of me is where the student sorry it's the student government association is located so we have over a hundred clubs here at Easton and if you still are satisfied with the clubs and options that we have here, you can start your own club. All you need to do is find four like-minded individuals, plus an advisor, which can be you know any Eastern faculty or staff or a professor, and it'll be your advisor for your club, and that's all you need to start a club here at Eastern. The shuttle system, we didn't always have that shuttle here on campus before, so they ended up proposing it. And we ran, sorry, they were able to pass it. And now we have a shuttle system that brings you to like Walmart, Stop and Shop, and other like nearby locations here on okay. campus. And if you don't want to walk to your classes too, you can also just take the shuttle there. Because we do have some classes that are on the off campus buildings, academic buildings, and residential buildings. The board, which is also if you want to start like the Institute, we have the largest student organization here on campus, and they host a majority of our events here on campus. They host over 2,000 events, which includes Spring Fest and Fall Fest, which is what I talked about earlier. But one of my favorite events that they hosted is some fire show event that they had about a month ago. So two fire dancer performers, people, they came in, were dancing with like sticks around fire, and they were eating it and like blowing flames out. Okay. Um, eating marshmallows on fires and stuff. It was like a little bonfire event, plus a little nice fire show to watch as we were eating our s'mores and stuff. Okay. So. This is some of the events that they have here on campus and we do out of state trips to like New York and Boston area. You know, since COVID is like getting a little bit better, I think we're gonna start having those trips again soon. So looking forward to that. It costs about five dollars, you know. They bring you to a specific destination and you just meet back at that destination. And between that time you just do whatever you want, you just have mm. to meet back at that destination too. Okay. All right, we're gonna check out one of those original halls then. Cool. I don't feel you don't feel anything? No. Okay. Well, in front of it, but it came up easy. You okay, Mama? What is this a parking garage? Yes. Yeah, these are parking garages. Free parking? Free parking. Don't touch just. So welcome to Burnout Hall. This is one of the traditional options offered to our first year students. This is where I lived my freshman year and I also was the president of this building. So I'm a little bit more biased towards it, but you know, whatever. Um, what we have behind is spiritual, you know, so the boards are separated by sex. So on the first board, guys, second, third is girls. Um, each room has two residents, just two beds, one room, you know, the same desk, same, dressers, same closet, you know, all that. Okay. And we do have separate, sorry, not separate. You guys do have like a little communal shower and communal bathroom as cleaned by our cleaning staff. Oh, cleaning staff four times a day daily. So you're never really going into a messy room ever, honestly. I didn't have any issues with it. Oh, uh, so the other one was it Christian? The one that we went to before. We went to Constitution Hall. Constitution, so that one you have to clean by yourself. Yeah. That one was, was that gender related? That was, yeah, that's um, separated by, the fours are separated by sex. Okay. Okay. Or no, the rooms are separated by sex, but the fours, so Constitution Hall, you can live in an all guy dorm, of course. Then right across the use some girls will be living there. Okay. But here- But this is just per floor? Yeah, per floor. Okay. Yeah. So we can take a look at one of the rooms. All right. Like I said, same printing services, same mailing services. I'm going to go to a post office and you don't need to go to the library because you just prepare for the safety of your or the comfort of your laundry. Yeah, feel free to look around, check whatever you want, it's a moth room. Okay. There are on every single floor. On duty 24 7. These are the little closet space? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. 
Got a little aggressive at the bottom. Yeah. Should be. You apply for housing. You apply for the hall that you want. You pick your top three choices. Um, so we serve on a first, or we go by a first come, first serve basis. Okay. So the sooner you put down your deposit, your housing deposit, is the sooner you get to um, pick first. Okay. Or you're likely to get your first choice. I think the housing deposit is like two fifty. Eight are all. Where are the bathrooms? So the bathrooms, we can't check them out, but they are located. Oh, on, so you don't have them in your room, like yeah. Yeah. So okay. they're located on them down there. Um. The bathrooms and showers are separate, as well as the laundry room. It's a dollar fifty to wash and a dollar to dry. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk through the hall and walk through the cafeteria, and then we're gonna go speak out there. Okay. to be on our silver dining plus plan. What that includes is unlimited swipes into this dining hall, 125 dining dollars that can be spent at the cafes here or the food court here, and 10 guest swipes. So if you wanted to bring in you know, family or friends off, kind of camp, sorry, off campus, you could bring them in and you can swipe them in for free and they can just spend their, get whatever they want. Mm. All right, so this is the meeting hall. You can see, you know, same mailing services, same printing services, showers on the front desk. And the only always thing is the same thing as Constitution, except it has way more things to see inside. Like a living room, for example. No common area, but that's complicated for by having your own living room. So you don't need a common area. Just come. And in this week, you know, we have elevators on like the traditional hall. You know, so I have elevators in Constitution Hall too. Yeah, feel free to walk around, touch whatever you want. Okay. So, in the hall, we have this pantry, we have other halls, we have this living room space. We have the only freshman or first year hall that has a living room space. It's pretty spacey, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You can use it for their fridge right here, and my favorite on top TV right there. And I said it does design it however you want. Got this kind of bigger vanity area. Um, bathroom and shower down here, and the rooms here. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this one. Teach you everything. Oh, that's all of them, right? We're seeing on that mix up with people who have their own space. But this is going to have to share with somebody. 
every room you have to share. You don't have an individual room, right? Yeah, unless you want to apply for uh, a solo room that's a little more pricey. So just like this is, that means you have four people in this area? Yes. Okay. Okay. You yeah, have three roommates, right? This time. Three men. Yeah, some right people are just not friends here. Huh? Some people don't always come, like, they never decided they don't want to go here on my campus. And I know as a freshman, I had a roommate for a little bit, and then they moved out, so I have my own roommate. Okay. All right. I love this for you. I love this space. Yeah. So right below this floor, we have like a little game room. I guess it's somewhat like a common area, but like not as extravagant as, you know, as the other ones. Home. I mean, that's because we have a little room here. Right. In the game room, you find like a little pool area, uh, foosball, like a little TV, and it's, it's like a chill spot if you still want to have an opportunity to make friends. And just get out. And we'll swim in this area. They probably do, yeah. I haven't done it, so I need to. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. in this building, I'm gonna start from the top, make my area down to the bottom. Yeah, this is our last stop on campus before I bring you guys back to the um, admissions office. Yes. So starting with the top floor, that's where our art and art history department is located, as well as some general purpose classrooms there. Also on that floor is where our digital and painting studios are located. So if you're interested in that aspect of art, you can go down there, or sorry, go up there, and utilize it, or have some of classes there too. On the second floor is more of our performing arts classes. So if you're interested in like dance or acting, that'd be perfect for you to go. We do have some dance studios on that floor too. If you're, if you're interested in that aspect of our art, also have a costume room up on the second floor. So if you're interested in designing costumes for our different performances there, you can do that. It's like a little campus job. There's a lot of camping jobs over 700 here at Eastern. And on the first floor is where the majority of our theaters are located. So the, there's three of them on this floor. Right behind me is where the Black Box Theater is located. And we have our proscenium Theater as well as our concert hall right down there, which we'll take a look at. We point out our art gallery. We have four exhibitions throughout the year that features our works from both established artists as well as professors and students here at Easter. There's lots of artwork here. An artist came in a few weeks ago. Yeah, a few weeks ago, and painted this. So I'm not sure exactly what it is, but <laughs> she did come and paint a lot, so she was able to watch. What is that? It said cross up, cross up. Something. I think it moves. You know. It Tomorrow, moves. The family, Jamaica. Yeah, oh, Jamaica. Okay, cool, cool. I'm Jamaica. I figure more. I figure. I figure. I figure more. Yeah, I heard it. You said you're from Jamaica. You say you're from Jamaica. My parents. No, you. Oh, I'm not. Oh, you, you just. Know, you know, you okay. Know what to they 
Oh, look they at you. Them. Okay. They had some curry goat. Yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> I forgot to point out, there, there was a core okay. room right over here, and over here is where instrumental room is located. It's like, run a instrument instrument. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say. Yeah, you can do that. You can go to courts here. So pick it back up again. That's all included in the um the tuition. Yeah. Okay. So you can try stuff without even paying anything extra. So you utilize everything. So say for example you wanted to do like music or whatever, like just to learn something, you can do it without any extra class. I can like you're bored and you want to pick up something here. Yeah. Down there. So that's like where our musical performances are usually located. Um, when we have guest speakers come in, they usually speak out in there. It's a really big hall. We have our proscenium theater right here. Okay. This is more for the student lab performances here. Yeah. You want to blow your nose? No. Oh. So this goes over some other information about the university in general so that way you have it so that way you can review it when you get back home. It also goes over psychology major. So you're interested in pursuing psychology. Uh, your letter of recommendation mentions that you're interested in pursuing counseling as well. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. So keep you, keeping your options open. So obviously you got to see the layout of the university and the layout of campus. Definitely want to acknowledge the program that we have here under psychology. It is one of our most popular majors on campus, but with the goal of definitely preparing students for life after Eastern. So it is very research intensive. So it's not just you uh, sitting and going through the classes and getting this material provided to you. It's also you acting on the material that you are learning for the class. So um, really understanding the ins and outs of psychology, but also the different concentrations that we have um, that you can pursue. Can I see the yes, book? absolutely. So this is for you to keep. So that goes over classes that you'll take uh, within the psychology major and the different uh, concentrations as well. And so that's some of the classes. Um, all of this information students when they come to campus as a student. So you sit down with an advisor and they go over all these classes. Overall, very popular, very intensive, um, and they'll be sure students have the skills to be employed and go to the next you know, part of, of life <laughs> after leaving and graduating. So um, overall, so on tour, you don't see this, but we do have Goddard Hall. Goddard Hall is just another academic hall. It has our classrooms. Um, but more specifically, it does have a component for our psychology students to use um, in these different areas where students can pursue research. So they have different labs within um, Goddard Hall. This then goes over their new student enrollment checklist. So it does go over this. You receive it in your acceptance packet, but this is just more of a nice version of it. So instead of the twofold, you just have steps one through ten. Um, just to go over different things to do if you are going to come to Eastern. So that way you have everything on your checklist and you can check that off and make sure that you know, you're not missing any steps and make sure that you're good for the summer and for the fall time to go to Eastern. Now, you saw residential halls on your tour. Any buildings that stuck out to you? Did you like certain buildings? There's a constitution, there was need. Need. Yeah, the larger room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's typically what students are interested in for their first year. Definitely, need is not, uh, need is definitely popular. Constitution as well. This does give students a reminder of the buildings that you saw. So during your tour today, you saw Burnout and Crandall. You also saw Constitution Hall and Need Hall. And so this goes over the layout for you, and that way you. All right, guys. So one college down, three more to go. We just finished up here, and we're heading home, bro hungry so hungry so come come tell him come i'll give you four more tacos if you share and 
Okay. Don't forget to drop a comment. Uh-huh. Whoa! Got it. Alright, go inside the car now. Go, go, go. Come here, say when me feel for say. Say where you feel for say.